welcome back. I know it's been a while since I posted a video on my YouTube channel, and I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, a lot of weird shit going on around here lately. I'm inside of a tent right now. So, stay tuned. You're going to get to see me set up this tent. And uh, I'll kind of explain a little bit what's going on with this tent. Uh, it's been in storage for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, it just needs a little bit of work. But I think we can do it. So, tune in, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Pause. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I forgot about that. And your traffic going by. Yay! Fun times. Hey, welcome. I'm pretty sure this is a strange view. Uh, I'm actually outside today. I have an old uh, tent that I've been wanting to get out for a couple of years and start uh, working on it and getting it uh, fixed up and stuff just to make sure everything is still good on it. It's been in storage for almost eight years. So I was actually pulling it out. Check it out, see what it, how it looks. See if we can get this thing up. Now, before we get going, I just want to say this Jeep is this this tent is actually made by Jeep. Uh, been very satisfied with it over the years, and uh, if anybody can actually get a hold of Jeep, because I can't find shit for this thing anymore, the case that it originally came in has uh, deteriorated and started to dry rot. So yeah, that's why I wanted to go ahead and get the tent out and take check it out and make sure it itself hadn't been compromised. And once we get it set up today. Might do a little weather treating on it and see if we can use it. Check it out. I don't see any damage or anything to it. I was hoping that with it being stored in the garage, at least it was protected from some of the elements even though the case that it came in started to dry rot on the outside. Like you grabbed the handle, handle just pulled right off. Uh, the stitching started giving away. But I was also worried because I live in the country and during the winter time, sometimes we get rodents that try to infiltrate like garages and stuff like that. And I don't see any signs of rodent activity on this. So bingo, let's get the poles out and check it out. That's down right here. As you can see, bag, this was made by Jeep. It's one of their higher end tents. Uh, the poles, some of the more rigid ones are made of uh, steel. So they work really well. And that's what, one of the things I really, really liked about this particular tent, the rigidity of it. I've set this tent up at uh, certain locations and we've had uh, anywhere from 50, 60 mile an hour winds and it always withstood and i've never had an issue with it it's got fiberglass poles too so some of like your mainline ones and that's why i'm setting them up right now individually because i wanted to check and make sure that the bungees weren't dry rotted too and everything was still going to function correctly so let's get this finished and then we'll start getting this sucker stood up I like how they're color coded. You'll take note, the poles themselves are certain colors. And if you look, uh, like on some of these pieces right here, color coded. are still good I was worried about that sitting in the garage for so long whether or not all these bungees were going to deteriorate over time because I do believe are for the closets yeah once again you can see how the bag just kind of like that handle came off deteriorated as a Jeep product damn good product it's just, South Texas weather was not kind to it Talk. probably one of the best tents I've ever owned in my life which is kind of 
sad that it's like I've got shit tearing up on it. But, like I said, my fault. Leaving it set up in a garage for so long. See how it spreads everything out. Second hardest part is remember where all the damn poles go. Okay, these small ones are for cross beams. <laughs> and now we take the longer poles. Let's see. We've got a little pin at the top. Put that one in. Pop it up. that hard took oh 15 minutes full size tent all that's pretty much left is to put together the uh those two pieces right here are closets that kind of come out on it so basically what i want to do is get this thing set up walk around kind of check the straps on it i know some of these are going to need to be replaced either with a velcro strap or something but yeah, it got a little dirty sitting in storage for so long. This is the other closet. This thing comes comes equipped with two closets. See, you can see right here that strap right there. It broke, so that means there's no support there. So I'll probably get some like uh, I don't know. There's a paracord or some like Velcro straps, because I've also got a few in other various locations across this thing that are like that. And that's basically it to set up this tent. Once you get it set up, it's actually pretty cozy. Like I said, I've had this tent in 50 and 60 mile an hour wind. Never an issue so there we go jeep you guys make a good product if y'all uh can get a hold of jeep or somebody from jeep let's go on the inside and take a look Whew. it's more than adequate i've got a lot of cleaning i need to do in here you see here along this edge see here along this edge that's tip tape tent tapes come off so I'll probably just have to pull that reline the whole thing this side is still good oh man I can't believe it mesh everything in it the mesh and all that stuff still very feels still feels very good so I'll have to work on some of the seams because uh, I've got some loose seams here in this corner uh, Scotch Guard or tent spray 
get this whole thing uh, sealed up. So, yeah, that's the goal. So, come back and we'll check out some of the other parts. Okay, back to video. Okay, you see I got the big top canopy on it. Now let's take a tour of the inside. Okay, this is the inside of it. A lot of room, you could easily fit 14, 14 people in here, maybe two queen size beds, cots, uh, kitchen supplies, whatever you want. Over here, you have one of the closets, okay? I don't have the shelves in this one because I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like with the shelves in it. So, they come with shelves. And luckily, everything is still good, structurally sound. Uh, I'm very pleased with uh, how it held up for eight years in a damp garage. Oh, can't complain too bad. Okay, now, if you look up there, remember those uh, clips that I wasn't able to attach? I'm going to fix them. And uh, this is where one of our best friends comes in handy. Everybody always laughs about the paracord, but hey, you know what? Emergency string is emergency string. When you need it, you need it. So I'm going to go ahead and repair those. So stay tuned. Okay, let's take you up on the inside and look. Basically... Better angle on this. You guys see it right there? That's all I did. Paracord. Works great. Did that down both seams up there. We're good to go. Okay, so coming to you live from inside the big ass tent. As you see, setting it up. Not really that difficult. It took me about 45 minutes uh, to do this full setup. That's including the top canopy because it is a little bit difficult to do by one person, but you can do it. There is a technique to it, and I, I had to remember what it was. Like I said, it's been eight years since I did this. Uh, some of the stuff I'm going to have to do before I actually take this out, uh, you can see right here. That that's just a thin strip of the tent tape that Jeep put in. Uh, I'm going to be going onto Amazon, ordering that big roll of the two-inch wide. We drop it on all the seams. We're good to go because I've just got to go around some of these windows too. I can see where the tape has started deteriorating around it. Uh, but structurally, tent is sound. Kind of pleased. I think Jeep did a good job. And uh, so pretty much what all I need to do now is just uh, get myself set up with a mobile kitchen. Uh, possibly some power because it does have these ports in the sides um, one of the sides I don't remember which one it is I'll find it eventually again it has a port in one of the sides where you can actually put a power station in here and uh, you can string your fairy lights or whatever it is you want to do I fixed the clips that were broke with paracord uh, that's one of the things you always need when you're going out on these major camping trips uh, energy source um, I'm looking at, and I want to see if any of you guys can give me any insight as to probably which one would be the best one. Uh, Jackery or EcoFlow. God, I wish one of them would sponsor me and send me a set. I would love to take that out for two weeks and give it a test drive. Uh, but either Jackery or EcoFlow, they're uh, power stations with the solar setup. Do something like that. Tent. I've got a utility trailer I'm modifying to carry uh, all this equipment and stuff like that. Uh, I've got an interesting design for water tanks that I'm going to mount to the sides of this utility tank using six or eight inch PVC, capping the ends, putting spigots on it, sealing it all up with your uh, PVC glue, and then that's water that you can take with you on the road. Paint the, paint the cylinders black instead of that green that those things, uh, green or white that they come in, paint it black. Now it's solar water, hot showers. There you go. So. Yeah, portable kitchen, power, pretty much you could set all of that up in here. The room I'm in right now can actually be split down the middle, making two rooms. So if you've got somebody that's going to be with you and they want a little bit of privacy, well, they got their own pri they've got their own little private room with a closet uh, on that side. You can't really see it on this side. Uh, with a closet, and uh, it allows you to have a place to hang your clothes, do your changing, and stuff like that this front part of the room so let's redo the camera there we go cameras reset now I'm in the front room this whole room has got the screen mesh all the way around so it's like a sunroom but it also has the flaps you can zip up to water seal it this honestly would be a good room to do your kitchen in 
It's good and ventilated, let any smoke or anything out. Uh, it's got the canopy over the top of it. Uh, what I eventually want to look at getting is probably some more canopies that you can just pop up real quick. Maybe put them on like the front or the side so you have a way to go outside and you still stay dry. Take your shoes off, do whatever you need to do. So pretty much, uh, yeah, you can uh, see what's going on around here. I'm trying to get everything sealed up. Got a couple of spots on the tent I'm looking at that need to be done. However, being stored in the garage for eight years, South Texas humid weather, rodents, surprisingly, I see no damage other than having to re repair tent uh, the tent tape and water sealing it again. I think this thing will be ship shipped and ready to go. I'm digging. Check back in, uh, subscribe to the channel, check the website because I've been posting a lot of this stuff on the website, uh, little mini clips and stuff like that so people can see. And uh, maybe if one day I get big enough, some company like Jackery or EcoFlow will sponsor me and let me try out their products. I would love to take them out uh, a couple weeks at a time, just out in the middle of nowhere. Living in a tent, what could be better other than living in an RV? <laughs> but hey, you know what? Tent living. All right. Taking a break before we tear down the tent. I'm going to run to town. See if I can find some weather sealant. And possibly see if I can find some of the tent tape. And see if I can actually go ahead and just seal up some of that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to tear it down. Uh, put it up in that uh, military grade tote that I've got for it. That is the same size as the tent bag itself. And... Uh, do it at a later time. I'll have to order the tape, but hopefully they have it in town. So we'll just have to think. So here we go. We've got your Scotch Guard and Gorilla tape. So that should seal it up. And they got a lot of stuff that I could end up spending some money on. This actually looks pretty good. A little daisy chain you can hang on the inside of your tent or on the outside. A little carabiners on it. It's six foot. Combined to a length of uh, 12 foot if you do two of them. So it's a two pack. Okay, so if you're looking to go camping, Walmart does actually have a nice little amount of stuff. There's a portable toilet right there. You'd put the bag underneath it and dispose of it. Right there, legs fold out. It's got a seat cover that you can get. And as far as like a camping tool set, that's actually a really good one for starters that are just going out. Uh, that'd be a good one to have. Also, I would suggest first aid kit. Oh, that. look right there. There's the waste bags for your little portable toilet. So showers, plenty of carabiners, lots of paracord, and as I said, you always need emergency string. Paracord, need to get it. Yeah, could end up spending some money here. Folding shovel, a must have. Definitely need that if you're camping. Never know. Okay. I've just got through sealing the whole thing, going around all the seams, even the floor seams, uh, with this silicone water guard. Surprisingly, they sell this at Walmart. It's only five bucks a can, but it's a big can. And this big can, this one and half of one, did this entire thing, every seal, all the canvas surfaces. So now I'm just letting it sit and dry. So, hey, yeah, it works pretty good. Uh, it's called uh, Silicone Water Guard. Uh, it works for suede, leather, cotton, canvas, nylon, and all synthetic fabrics. Heavy-duty water repellent. Only one application needed. And it shows tents, all kinds of stuff. So, you don't have to break the bank to uh, seal your tent. Uh, Gorilla Glue makes one, too. Uh, they didn't have it where I went, so I didn't get that one. And uh, I just had to go with what they had. Uh, but also at the same time, <sighs> retaping your seams. Gorilla Glue did have their own tent tape. And uh, I redid a seam over there on one of the closets. It was starting to separate and you could see daylight through it. So I pulled it together, bunched it up, taped it. And uh, man, I don't think the tape's coming off. Gorilla Glue. Okay, sidetracked. Laying down on the job. <laughs> this is the best shit ever. Freaking hammock. Bug netting. And a waterproof cover. Why haven't I done this shit before? 
Okay, I need to get back to work. Okay, now that all the seams have dried, everything is dried. I've walked around and felt, made sure everything's done. Did all the seams with that sealant. We're going to go from that bag, which is completely deteriorated, to that bad boy. It's got wheels, side can handle, and the lid latches, and you can lock it in, I believe, two to three places. So, I think this will be a much better improvement than the back. Okay, I didn't show you the whole teardown on the tent because uh, battery's almost dead. But anyways, uh, like I said, this morning it took about 45 minutes by myself to put it all the way up and get that canopy on top. 10 minutes. 10 minutes to take it down. Yep. Now you just gotta fold it up, put it in that box. Oh yeah, look at that shit. Fit perfectly. Nice. Okay, all of those legs you saw laying on the ground, fold up nice and neatly. Look at that. Everything is right there and still got a little bit of room. Okay, so the lid shut, everything's in it, even the tent shelves and all the little accoutrements that it comes with, like a little cup holders that hang from the beams and so on. So, shit. Okay, I may have underestimated how much that other bag held. Okay, not quite enough inside of this tote to put the top part on it, but Jeep provided this nice ass bag that it goes in, so I don't see too much of a problem. I always just leave it there on top or later on, buy a bigger tote. But either way, it's protected from the elements now. That nasty bag. But anyways, we got this all cleaned up. Uh, went ahead and the uh, the plastic pieces that were on top to it provide you with a little bit of light. So you can see through, Windex them, cleaned them up. And obviously I'm gonna have to let them dry for a bit. So I'm not too worried about it, they're in the bag. Uh, next time I take this out and do it, I've got two cans of sealant in here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray all the seams on that, let them dry before I put them on. And so with that guys, uh, yeah, that was me preparing my tent. And uh, actually, I can just kind of scoot this and sit right here. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, it was good to get it set up. Uh, gives me a refresher on it. So next time I go out and do it, that 45 minutes it took me to set it up today, probably only take me 20 minutes next time because I, I was having to remember where everything went. So that's a key tip right there. Tip number one, if you're going out to set up your tent, Look for pokey things on the ground. You don't want them poking up through your tent bottom and cutting a hole in it. And then you've got to repair a tent, the base of it. Tip number two, always make sure you have a ground cover, uh, some sort of tarp or something to put under the tent, but don't have it overhang out from underneath the tent because now you're gonna, it'll allow water to collect on it and then roll under the tent. So have it to where it goes under your tent about two inches all the way around. So, and tip number three, Set your tent up, especially if it's a new one or you haven't done it in a while, in your yard prior to going out. Refresh your memory, figure out, and make sure your all of your stuff is there, such as all of your tent stakes, because tent stakes get lost. Uh, luckily, I have all mine. I had all mine in a bag, uh, and I know kids have played with them over the years, so hmm, but they were all there. So I was satisfied with that. So with that, guys, uh, yeah, this is uh, it. And uh, like I said, if anybody has any information on one of those EcoFlow or the Jackery uh, systems, I'm looking for something like a 1500 watt, 1500 to 2000 watt. It's got solar panels that can be charged. Uh, reach out to them if you want and tell them, hey, I'm looking for something like that and see if they'll uh, let me review something. So with that, guys, I'm out of here.